Hello everyone, welcome back to the United Star. Today we have MUSC Goa once again and we've got Paran back on the channel but Pranav is here for the first time. And we're here to preview the Southampton game. So let's get straight into it. Uh, Karan, we have been unbeaten for 17 games now and Mason Greenwood is lighting the world on fire. What do you think his impact in the team has been and how good has he been overall? Uh, so first of all, hi guys. I think Mason Greenwood is just simple. He's keeping it very simple. He's kept his head down. He's worked hard. In the lockdown, he's bulked up. I think he's he's one of those uh, proper United strikers, you know, just get half a yard of space and get the shot off. And uh, Ole has done well in keeping him away from interviews and everything. He's telling him to work hard, keep his head down. That's what has helped him, really. That's what has helped him. It's, he's kept it simple. And I think his, his quality is mature beyond his age. That's it, really. Nothing outstanding. It's just good old, good old hard, hard work for him. I think you make a very good point as well about Ole keeping him away from the limelight. I think that's very important for him not to get all uh, head over heels and stay grounded. And I think he's doing a great job of that. But Pranav, like I said, 17 games unbeaten, going to the 18th game. Bruno Fernandes, back-to-back man of the, uh, player of the month. First time since Ronaldo, it's happened. And it just seems three, four times in a row, we won with a goal difference of three. And everything seems to be falling into place for United somehow. That guy, that guy has changed everything in for United. So I think since we have signed Bruno Fernandes, we have completely changed. The old United seems like we are back. Like I can't, I can't believe like a person like him can entirely change the team. We had absolutely nothing. Like I thought I was only out. To be very honest, I was completely only out. And then the signing completely changed the way we are playing. We are absolutely killing them. We are. I don't know. I have no words right now to say, but I'm I'm really 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 proud of that guy, and I hope I hope we don't hype him too much. I hope we can handle the pressure. But that guy, that guy is going to be a legend for sure, for sure. Absolutely, Vishesh. What are your views on our form going into this game? Do you expect another three-goal win? Uh, honestly, I think it's uh, again. I'm 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 the guy who is still skeptical about things uh, because where we could see it against Aston Villa also the first 20 minutes, right? Where we were just off the off the pedal, but uh, I think we can definitely beat Southampton, even though they've been in some solid form, and we we will discuss that. But as Karan and Pranav said, Greenwood's been fantastic. He he's he has his head to the ground. Bruno has you know picked up his form from Sporting Lisbon and brought it brought it to the Premier League. So and Pogba Pogba scored. So that that's that's a big thing as well for his confidence. So I think uh, going in this game, we should be confident. And we should collect the three points. True. I agree with you, Vishesh. Uh, going into the game, uh, Prana, what do you think our first 11 is going to be? And just the point here, I think De Gea is going to start the game anyway. So, it's his 400th appearance for Man United against Southampton. He's going to make that against Southampton. He's been a great servant to the club. So, we have to give him a shout out. Uh, so, Prana, what's your 11 and your thoughts on De Gea as well? Uh, I think uh, the 11 is going to change this time. I think midfield would be uh, Pogba and... Uh, this one, uh, Pogba is mostly likely to be dropped. I think uh, McTominay and Fred would be in uh, in the uh, in midfield. Uh, Bruno will be number ten. Uh, then the front three would be same. Uh, back uh, Luke Shaw again at the left back. Right would be Bisaka and the central defender would be same. And talking about De Gea, uh, this guy has to be given something else. Like this guy, this guy has made United. He has saved United for like three four years for sure. We we are we were we were competing for Champions League because of uh, De Gea itself. Otherwise, we would be in a proper mid-table team. So a shout out to him. I hope uh, I hope he stays. I don't want uh, him to go. People are saying, "Chalo, De Gea ka, it is it's over." But uh, I hope he stays for at least two three years. Place for us. Maybe Dean can uh, hold on for a while, but I don't think he's ready to hold. So, yeah. 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 I com- I completely agree. It'd be great to have a clean sheet on his 400th appearance. But Karan, coming to you, do you think, do you agree with Pranav that uh, Pogba will not play? No, I think we are going with the same 11. Uh, why I say that? Uh, because one, we had uh, three days rest again. So, and we are we are playing at home, so the travel is out of the question. And the fact that we are playing Palace uh, two days after Southampton. 
then we have the FA Cup semi final against Chelsea. So I think he'll rest it. Uh, he'll uh, rotate the team for uh, Crystal Palace. He'll keep the same eleven for the Southampton. That's uh, that's much it. And I think De Gea. I mean, he's a he's a legend. I mean, you know, I know he's had a few errors. You know, a few lapses in concentration. But you can you can allow him a bit of you know leeway because last as I've kind of said last four or five years he's kept us relevant. You know, even if we have got into Europa leagues or you know won Europa League. Got into Champions League. It's all because of David De Gea. Our defense has been pretty, pretty pathetic before Maguire and uh, Van Bissaka joined. So I think 400 appearances is a massive achievement, and I think he deserves he deserves a, a big applause from all United fans. Even though he's not in his best element right now, but it's just a matter of time. As I said, I said that as well. Form is temporary, and obviously, class is permanent. No, I completely agree. You know, I it's another thing out here that. You've seen that when Arsenal were falling off, they would get disgraced. Like we, the hair has not allowed us to get disgraced ever. It's not that we've ever gone and lost like a seven nil or five nil to a Bayern or anyone. So I think we have to cut him some slack, and we're very happy that he's here. But uh, Vishesh, uh, what do you think? Will if we if we go unchanged this time, it'll be five games in a row. It's not happened for almost twenty years that United's gone five games unchanged. So what do you think? Is it going to be the same lineup? I think I think Karan is spot on. It's going to be the same lineup for this game. It's more like a Europa League kind of a setting where we played Thursday night and now we're playing on uh, Monday instead of the weekend. So there's no reason to change it. And Ole mentioned that in his press conference today as well. So I think it'll be the same eleven or uh, change for Crystal Palace and then the strongest eleven against Chelsea. So I think. Right. It's going to be. Uh, Karan, coming to you, uh, Southampton and especially Tommy Ings looks like he can't stop scoring. Uh, they've been brilliant. They even like beat City. So, uh, do you think we have to be wary of their attack, especially? And they look like a solid team. Like uh, Hansen Hutel is doing a great job there. See, I think with Southampton, you know, yes, they won against City, but I thought they were pretty lucky because I think City would have scored five, six that day. You know, I think McCarthy had a great game that time, and the goal was a bit of Edison's mistake and Jay Adams scoring a blinder. I think with Southampton, it's uh, to keep them away from set pieces. That's where I think James Watt, Prowse, and Ings are uh, really, you know, uh, combining well. I'm I'm not too worried about Southampton. It it will be a toughest game uh, since lockdown, definitely. But uh, I don't really think that we need to worry a lot. Uh, it's just that you know I think Ings we don't want to give him too much of space. You know, even he's like a Mason Greenwood needs half a yard of space and he'll latch on to it. I think we can. I think we can control Ings because top scorers don't don't really fire against us. That's that's like the tradition going on. So I'm not too worried about Danny Ings as of now. Okay, Pranav, but uh, are you slightly worried that maybe uh, Ings might be able to turn Maguire and Lindelof quite easily because they're not they've not let's say they've been the weakest link in the team till now till after lockdown. So are you worried about that maybe? And what do you make of Southampton's form and in coming into this game? I think Southampton are in a really good form. So in the last five games, I think they've just drawn they lost one against Arsenal and they have drawn against Everton and I think they yeah, they won against City. So they are in a pretty good form and Ings, yeah, Ings has proven himself and I still don't trust Maguire hundred percent. So I think he can cause a cause a huge problem to Lindelof and uh, Maguire in the in the center. I hope I hope right. he's able to cope with cope with him. Right. Vishesh, uh, what is your prediction for the game? Looking at Southampton's form, looking at what Karan and Sanal have said, what do you think the score is going to be? I think it's going to be a goal fest. So I'm expecting something of like a 4 2. Or, yeah, so I think I'll go for a 4 2. Because I think uh, with Danny Ings' form and uh, the way he's competing for the Golden Boot, there's no reason that he doesn't try to score a goal and get a goal as well. Uh, but yeah, I think it'll be 4 2 to United. Right. He can try all he wants. But Pranav, do you think they'll score? Do you think there will be? United I think I think it's going to be like last season where we won three two and Lukaku saved us. So I think again it's going to be three two with Greenwood with the winner. Oof. <laughs> Karan, what about you? What is your score prediction? Um, I'm going to go for a three one. Yeah, because I I think they will get a goal, but I think we are too strong and we are in a good vibe. Three one for me. Mm -hmm. I, I personally am going to go for a 3 0. I think we will keep a clean sheet. We will give that gift to David De Gea. And Frisian Wheels captain Harry Maguire will be able to save <laughs> us for once. Uh, but uh, let's just quickly go around and think who our man of the matches are. Pranav, uh, man of the match, you say Greenwood for the winner. Do you think he's going to be man of the match? 100%, 100%, Greenwood. Greenwood, Greenwood ain't for me. <laughs> Vishesh, what about you? 
Uh, I'm going to go for someone out of the box. I'm going to go for Van Bissaka for this game because I think he'll be the one who will be providing the assists down the flank as well as controlling Danny Ings behind. So with his tackles and with his uh, crosses, it's going to be very important that he's, you know, he pockets Danny Ings. Right. And Karan, uh, you think? I'm going to go for Marcus Rashford this time. I think yeah, he's, he's going to turn it on. He's looking good. I think he, yeah, this this game is he's going to absolutely smoke it. Rashford for me. I'm I'm going to absolutely agree with you. Week in week out, I keep saying Rashford, and I think he's performing really well. And I think he deserves a goal, man. He deserves it. He's been so hardworking. He's providing so much to the team in terms of passing and in terms of running. And he absolutely deserves a couple of goals, maybe even a hat trick. Let's have two hat tricks in a season, uh, and hopefully we'll go. Up. 18 wins and like Karan Pranav and Vishesh and me, we might disagree on the scoreline of who's going to do it for United, but we all agree we're going to win and we're going to take the momentum forward and hopefully carry it in all the way to the Chelsea game. So thank you guys for joining in. Thank you, Amir Sri Goa, for coming once again on the channel, Karan and Pranav. It's been a pleasure and hopefully we continue thank winning. Guys. So thanks guys for watching and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.